What is going on, Vol Nation? Spooky season is officially upon us, so it's officially time to binge watch a bunch of scary movies. But the question is, which ones are worth watching? So today we're going to be asking students what is their favorite scary movie. I'm Lauren Ward, and this is Rocky Topics Halloween Edition. My favorite scary movie is probably The Shining. Yeah. I think, like, especially older movies, they knew how to do it well. Now these newer movies are, like, too CGI. CGI is just so lazy. Very predictable, absolutely. Uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. I don't know, I just kind of grew up watching it. I've, it's got a little bit of a sentimental place in my life. Yeah. And I would say, or you would say that it's arguably more of a Halloween movie than a Christmas movie? Uh, yes, just because it focuses more around like what, when Halloween is. Just have, you know, kind of what we experience in real life where when Halloween ends, we skip over Thanksgiving and listen to Mariah Carey nonstop. Uh, the original It. Um, it is a, it's mainly just because I love the 80s era, came out right after Stranger Things. I just, I, I love the characters, love the movie itself, and the creature is really creepy. Absolutely. So, so definitely a clown kind of guy. Yeah, I, I like the clown around. He's cool. He's, he's great. Evil Dead. Really? Yeah, the original one. It's my favorite because uh, it when I when I first watched it, I watched it with a bunch of friends, and it was it was a super unique experience watching it, watching the dark like on Halloween. So I've always held that movie close. That's very cool. Thank you. My favorite scary movie is either Suspiria, the remake, or um, The Witch. And why those two? Mm -hmm. Okay, The Witch. It has Anya Taylor Joy in it. Um, Robert Eggers, who did The Lighthouse, directed it. Okay. Um, it's just incredible. It's amazing. I'm a Florence and the Machine fan, um, and both of those movies like super influence a lot of her like new era of music. Really. Very witchy, very folk horror. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's just like I don't know, embracing evil, mm -hmm. um, and I love that. <laughs> I think that should be done a little, a little bit more for the for. Halloween templates. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I actually do like Annabelle though. Okay. So, I mean, it's really scary, but uh, I don't know. It's a good storyline, yeah. so that's probably my favorite. Okay. No, I'm, I'm definitely doing Hocus Pocus. <laughs> it, it gives the quintessential Halloween vibes. So. Absolutely. And, and you haven't seen Hocus Pocus. No, which is well, a shame. I, not. I know. I don't, I mean, I know what it is, but I could not tell you the storyline at all. You get you got an educator. I will. You get a, we'll, we'll make it work. We'll make it work. Good. <laughs> I just watched um, Scream recently. Oh, I love Scream. And that was like amazing. Yeah. I I just showed my boyfriend Scream for the first time the other day. Okay, I need it, to show mine Scream, dude. So great. So good. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you. Yeah. Anytime. This is partly my scary movie, also because my little brother. But the Halloween movies. Yeah. Every single one of them. Best thing to binge watch ever. Exactly. So you you favor all of them. All of them. Specifically, the OG one, the first, the Jamie Lee Curtis, of course. But the other ones, I will happily watch as well. Oh, interesting. Um, my favorite scary movie is probably Sinister. Nice. It's very scary. Um, honestly, I couldn't even finish watching it. Um, so it's, yeah, it's intense. So the, the one that scared you the most just still reigns as your favorite? Yes. Wow. Yep. The most scary, I would say. I admire that. <laughs> so it's like a half Christmas, half Halloween movie, but Nightmare Before Christmas. Yeah. It's my, it's my favorite movie by far. Definitely. Mine's by Halloween. Halloween? Yep. Yeah. I've been getting more roundups for Halloween. I'm, I'm pretty happy that people are happy with classics. Never seen it. Ed educa educate people. Come on. I love American Psycho. <laughs> Please. I just want to hear a further explanation. I don't. It's just like a classic, I feel like, and I love um, Patrick Bateman as a character. Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like just everything Christian Bale does is just amazing. <laughs> just, just flawless. <laughs> yeah, and like the way he talks is really funny. I don't know if you've seen like the memes about it, but it's like so good. <laughs> I, I actually finally watched it the other day for the oh, first really? time. Because I always knew about the memes, so I'm like, you know what? I need, I need more context. Yes. And wow, you know? <laughs> it's like, at the first time I watched it, whenever I went back and like, Rewatched it, it kind of made more sense, but yeah, the first time you watch it, it's kind of like, what just happened? Yeah. <laughs> so, but yeah, I think it's just like a nice, trippy, gory movie. Definitely. I don't know if it's necessarily Halloween, but it's something I watch every year. I don't really have a scary movie. I like the uh, I like the SpongeBob episodes where they go on Davy Jones' ship. Yeah. And they find his locker. I like that. Insidious, for sure. And why? Because it 
they're scary, very scary, and they get into like the psychology um, of like possessions and spirits and demons and all that kind of stuff. It's more the you're into more of the mental factor. Yes, yes, not just like the jump scares and blood and gore stuff. Like that's good and all, but like that stuff really scares me. For, uh, the stuff that's insidious. Follow-up question: Any advice for those watching American Psycho for the first time? Don't watch it with your parents. Absolutely, do not. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> There's way too much going on to be watching it with your parents. <laughs>